Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And what we're trying to do today is we're playing Moldrotha Super Friends. Or kind of like Moldrotha good stuff, but a lot of uh, planeswalkers in here. So let me tell you what Moldrotha does. If you are new to the game, have kind of jumped in the last couple sets, you may not know what Moldrotha does because honestly I haven't seen it played a lot in the last while. But it's six converted mana costs. Uh, during each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. So each type is an enchantment, a planeswalker, a land, a creature, uh, and an artifact. We don't really have artifacts in our deck, but that is the basic type of thing what you can do is you can play one type uh, from your graveyard each turn. So we get a lot of options from the graveyard as well as just a lot of great value from our deck in general so what we're trying to do is just kind of like a a soul tie synergy deck uh doing lots of fun stuff uh ramping up to our late game stuff with our Planet War Elves or Paradise Druid, which taps for any color. I did have Incubation Druid in here as well, but I was noticing that we have so many good things in like the three, four drop slot that I didn't want to run into too much uh, early game ramp. Uh, but at the same time, we do definitely need it as well. So uh, this is the deck. I tried to make this deck not be too controlly in any way. Like I I'm, I don't have any counters in the deck uh, because that's just not the way that I like to play personally. Uh, but we do have lots of removal, lots of fun stuff to do. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the, get into the gameplay see how this goes and wish me luck all right up against cyan bring it on cyan and uh so this so you guys know because i didn't go too deep into the deck there um the things that we can do here oh man this is a little bit awkward we have to mulligan this if we had found uh a ramp spell I, mm, I guess we can keep this this is also a little bit awkward but we can at least play it out so let's go ahead and keep it but uh, i don't dive i'm not diving too much into my deck text early on uh, or at least not going too much in the deck because i do have the deck list down below um and for me i i kind of build it around more people that have you know already played the game a little bit and so if you guys want me to dive deeper into my deck text i definitely can let me know down in the comments below what you guys prefer if you want them quick and like short and sweet or if you want me to do like the seven to ten minute ones that everyone else does that everyone skips ahead through uh but even what i've been seeing is that majority of my viewers skip through the two minute ones even so uh let me know what you guys prefer let's put that to the bottom we need to find our black source we have more black than blue in this deck. Hello. How the heaven are you? Which I may have, may need to change up my my deck a little bit here. All right, John Catacombs, not too shabby. We have Tyrant Scorn if we need to. Um, we're going to try to get down this Paradise Druid, though. Get to a Veraska. Dread Horde Invasion. We can kill that with Veraska. Which also means we lose Veraska, unfortunately. Let's get down Paradise Druid. Into Land Harbor. Pass the turn. They have a response before they officially amass. It's kind of interesting that it's, it gives us the zombie because like if we did have a response and it already put the zombie down there, would we be able to kill the zombie token that's about to put stuff on? It, that doesn't make sense to me, but maybe. All right, uh, we get to. Hmm. Let's see here. What do we want to do? We have Tyrant Scorn, which is pretty good. I'm debating if I if I can play a uh, Veraska here, but I guess we just kind of. Play this tapped, pass the turn. Let's Tyrant Scorn to get rid of the, the zombie token once it gets bigger. We could also Veras's Contempt it, but... Uh, and then we can Mirari Conjecture and get back. Let's see, Instant Card comes first. And then Sorcery. Um, let's just take our beats now. No blocks. Ah, let's see here. Do they have any kind of pump spell? Anything else they're doing? Let's just Tyrant Scorn. We can also bounce it back.
In fact, I think bouncing it might have been the safer play, just in case they have something to give it like indestructible, which I don't I don't think there's anything in black and red that could do that, but just in case. Um that would probably be the better play. Death Baron, that's annoying. And we will just kill it. With fire. Uh, we could Veraska's Contempt it, but let's go ahead and get out Veraska. And neg three onto Death Baron. And no attacks, just in case they have the uh, Dread Horde Arcanus, which I guess we can't really stop. Even if they kill, even if we block it, they'd still be able to kill Veraska. Which again, we are okay if stuff goes to the graveyard because we have Moldrotha. All right, Russ is content. That's fine. Gain some life back. Let's go with. Hmm, we can get back Tyrant Scorn. We don't really have a sorcery to get back anything with Mirai Conjecture. Um, let's just go with. I kind of like to get value out of Hostage Taker, like actually getting another thing. They do lose life this way. We can do this. Do I keep Paradise Druid around? Let's go ahead and swing in. They're taking two damage each turn from the invasion. If we can kind of just tempo them out, they're going to end up killing themselves before they can kill us. What you got, what you got. I'm feeling pretty confident where we're at right now. I would like to find a Moldrotha. Moldrotha would actually be pretty good. We don't have a ton of stuff in the graveyard. Actually, we don't have anything in the graveyard at the moment. So I guess Moldrotha is not very good. They do kill the Bleeding Edge. Boo, hiss. All right, well, Elders Reborn, perfect for what we needed there. Man, they've got to be pretty sad about us. Just keep doing this. And we get a swing in down to 11 past the turn. I'm just glad they didn't have a widespread brutality right there. That would have been bad. Down to nine. We have more uh, of Ross's contempt to get rid of it again. Death Baron. Okay. Dread Horde Butcher. That's annoying. Nissa. Unfortunately, Nissa doesn't do a whole lot for us right here, and it will do a lot more on another turn. So the question is, do I get rid of the Dreadhorde Butcher, this guy, or the Death Baron? We need them discard. Mariah Conjecture gets back a Tyrant Scorn, which is good. But do we need to answer stuff this turn is the question. If we if we have a Nissa out, we could hmm, we can Mirage Conjecture and get back the Tyrant Scorn and play it. Let's pass the turn. Uh, what we can do here is we can we can actually block the Dread Horde Butcher and kill it with Death Baron. When we get rid of Death Baron. Ooh, they amass again. That's annoying. Alright, that changes our plans. Now we have to get rid of the token. Come on. Alright, let's wait for them to swing in. We're just going to take three... Yep, get rid of you. Go up to 20, down to 17. They grow the Butcher, which is annoying. We can swing at Angrath if we wanted to. Diagraph Ghoul, okay. Let's grab a... Um, actually, wait a minute. 
Oh, we that Arvaraska got exiled. That's right. So, Herald of the Dread Horde, pretty good. And let's just go for Mirari Conjecture. We can also create a 3 3 to block stuff with. We can swing that way and kill Ingrath to make sure that they don't have the Menace, because Menace is annoying right now. We can also just start going face. And actually, they die if they don't block with a, with a Death Baron. So let's just do that. All right, Nissa. Tick up on. Let's go with. We don't really have a forest, do we? Let, let's go with uh, Drown Catcomb. And all attack at face. If they don't block, they die to the Dread Horde invasion. They have to block with Death Baron. And then if Death Baron doesn't, then we can we can block here. Actually, they have Menace still, so they can still get our Nissa down to five, down to three. All right, they can't kill Nissa because of this. That's right, man. We can't really block the dr the butcher because then they can kill our land. But I guess if we have Nissa available still, we're in okay shape. The man, the menace is annoying. All right, amass two. We need to find a removal spell for the token. They don't swing in. Interesting. All right, so forest. Mirari Conjecture. How much mana do we have? We have... We have enough for Verasa. Let's grab a... Tyrant Scorn. Then we'll play Llanowar for another blocker. Tick up, create another attacker. Um, in fact, we could attack Exile something. We don't have enough damage, do we? Let's grab Hinterland Harbor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have to get rid of the zombie army to let them die to themselves. So let's just pass the turn. We have lots of blockers. We can keep Nyssa alive. We have Mirai Conjecture, which won't actually hit anything this next turn. But we can keep getting back. Down to one. We can go to blocks before we use Tyrant Scorn. Good game. All right, plays another Ingrath. Ever seen water burn? You will. Amasses again. On, yeah, opponent did say good game. I think that we do have him here. All right, there we go. So, yeah, we will absolutely... Return this here, and that's game. All right, good job. And we will also just dispersal. And there we go. Yeah, we, we could swing in there for victory, uh, so we were good. That was awesome. Not too shabby at all. All right, up against Jack Battle. Bring it on, Jack. Go, go, Jack. Go, go, Jack. All right, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, yeah, we can keep it. We have some removal. It's a little bit interesting. We'd like to have um, some ramp, but we have our the lands that we need. We have discovery for turn two. And we have our Muldrotha, so we're happy. 
Tyrant Scorn, I'm not sure that's actually going to be worthwhile here. Thief of Sanity will be, though. So Thief of Sanity, great for turn three. And that's just going off of Meran uh, Meandering River. Let's see what they're playing here. This could be a Flyers deck, which would be annoying. And now it's really annoying because Thief of Sanity is a whole lot worse with against Flyers. Which we can bring out Veras's Contempt or Veraska to kill whatever Flyer they have. In fact, because we have Moldrotha, Veras's uh, Golgari Queen gets a whole lot better where we can have it die and bring it back and kill something again. Against a Flyers deck actually can be pretty good. So it's flying only as long as it's attacking. And Mentor. Ooh, that's interesting. Yep, no blocks. Down to 18. Let's swing in first. See what they've got. We will take that seal away. Absolutely. And we might just play the play the seal away. But we're gonna let them uh, mentor here. Get rid of the Blade Instructor, which is annoying. And then kill with Vraska afterwards. Okay, one with the wind. Perfect. Favorable wins. Okay. This is kind of cool, what they're doing. Alright, so we just... We got rid of two cards for the one that we stole from them. They do have a 4-3 now, which is annoying. It is a lot of damage they're doing to us, but we're also just going to kill that. So we're fine with that. So Veraska, if we lose our Veraska somehow, I guess we should have we should have swung with Thief of Sanity first, but that's fine. One with the wind is pretty good. I think Sarah Angel, though, is pretty decent. Another Fable wins. Whatever they play is really big. Let's just mold. Uh, let's swing in. See what we find. Healer's Hawk. Okay. We could play Sarah Angel and Healer's Hawk. Take up Vraska. Have a good blocker for everything. Or maybe just... Hmm. But we're okay losing Vraska because then we just get it back with Moldrotha. I'm worried about like a... Let's just use their stuff. So Sarah Angel, Healer's Hawk. Tick up. We don't even need to draw a card at the moment. Let's just decline. Pass the turn. We can destroy a favorable wins whenever we need to now and get back Vraska with Moldrotha. All right, just passes the turn. Let's, um... Oh, man. Are they holding up a counter of some sort? This could be a Settle the Wreckage. Let's just swing in with uh, Thief of Sanity first. We'll swing with Sarah Angel as well. It has Vigilance. It makes sense. See if they have a Settle the Wreckage. There's the Settle. All right. Totally fine. Yep, take action. We are fine with more lands. We actually want both forest in case we run into a Nyssa. Um, so in the attacks, let's... We haven't played a land yet, have we? All right, so let's Muldrotha. Pick up, destroy a land. We get to play a land from the graveyard anyway. So this way we get to draw a card every turn. There's a Narset. Not bad. Cast a land. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good way to do it. Um, 
and we're just in man we have so much value now as long as we can keep out of moldrotha so I, the biggest threat to us is an Ixlon's binding Ixlon's binding very annoying for us uh they swing at Veraska. let's go ahead and block that's fine Oh, it dies. As soon as it's not attacking, it loses its ability with favorable wins. What? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. That is, I, I thought it was until end of turn, but it's only when it's attacking that it has the, the plus there. All right, that was good. Up against Alu, bring it on Alu. <laughs> and, uh, dude, Moldrotha Super Friends is doing so good right now. We're gonna keep this. Got some ramp, we got some disinformation campaign-ness that we like. Uh, disinformation campaign is a little bit interesting. We actually prefer for people to kill it so we can get it back with Moldrotha because we only have two cards that actually surveil for us. Uh, but the value that it has if we ever do get it to the graveyard is so good that it's worth it And we can sacrifice another permit with Raska that we can kind of just keep getting it back as well that way Opponent Mulligan's down to five uh, I want to keep this in just because I was talking about the strategy there. Uh, so sorry if you guys hate these ones, but We won again. Yes. Got like a white spot right there Anyway, uh, we're up against gallant man bring it on gallant man and we have ramp we have goodness We're gonna keep it we have three colors with Paradise Druid. Pretty difficult for them to actually kill Paradise Druid as well. So yeah, we it's basically a land for us. And we'd like to draw a third land. So maybe we can get it to Nyssa. That would be, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, Duress. They have so many good options. What do they take? I think it has to be Nyssa. Yeah, I was going to say Nyssa is just so good. If we find land next turn, we have a Hostage Taker. Maybe that'll be worthwhile. Thought Erasure, Boo, Hiss. Probably Disinformation Campaign. Eldritch Reborn is good. If they're not playing creatures, though, yeah. The card advantage we get from Disinformation Campaign is too grand for them, for us. Um, I don't want to play Hostage Taker without value, so I guess we we actually say no attacks and pass the turn. Uh, I don't want to swing in because the Hexproof, it is basically our fourth land. We don't want to lose that. Oh my heavens, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, my friend. Thought Erasure is just so good. Mending of Dominaria, okay. There's a Vraska, that's not bad. That's playable. Let's hope they're only stuck on two lands. Let's hope that they don't find a third and go Crab Canarium right now. That would make me cry. Heartless Pillage. All right, so this is a discard deck. I feel better about them having all the discard if it's a discard deck. Um, we're going to play this now for sure. Attack and... Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Pirates and I get along because they're both cutthroats. <laughs> Vraska. Dude, I love the voice acting on a lot of these. It's pretty good. All right. This is probably also playing Disinformation Campaign. Uh, maybe this is like a Haunt of Hightower deck. So we are empty handed. We do like stuff in the graveyard, though. That's fine. All right. Planeswalker down. A lot less damage that we can do. But we also are doing five damage a turn. That's a three turn clock. Pretty quick. We'll, we're going to go ahead and play Land of War so we don't have to discard it. If they have Ritual of Soot, this is really annoying. Nikki B. All right, T. We're going to swing in. Kill the Paradise Druid. Yep, makes sense. Down to six. Pass the turn. Uh, Moldrotha would be amazing. If we can find a Moldrotha, that's actually pretty good for them, too. All right, swing in with the 2-2. Two -two. They would definitely block the other one with the Burglar Rat. Gets rid of Nikki B. That's fine. We're okay with that. 
we basically traded off our Veraska for several cards now. They had another Nikki B. All right. They are two lands off from flipping. It is seven, right? Yep. Tyrant Scorn. Um, we don't really want to bounce Nicobolus back. We can kill Burglar Rat. I'm worried about having it discarded anyway, so let's go ahead and use this. Let's uh, kill Burglar Rat, swing in for one, and we still have a clock going on at least. Do they have another Nicobolus? Dude, our Veraska did work. Our Veraska has killed two Nickel Bolases. I mean, we're not necessarily ahead on board. We got rid of three cards, basically, for the one Veraska. Like, I'm okay with that. And it's because they're so low on life total. So I do think it was important that we swung in that time with, uh, with the board. Command the Dreadhorde down to one. Gets a Nissa. What? Alrighty. If we have any removal whatsoever, we win. Removal. Oh, all right. Come on, that was the turn to do it. No attacks. Ah, oh, man, if we had found anything. Now they just have so much value. Swings in, no blocks. We have flyers that we can find. Mirari Conjecture. Um, Tyrant Scorn. It's just not fast enough now. Let's destroy target creature. No attacks. Dude, Command the Dread Horde is good. Nissa, that this is the value of Nissa too. Just showing you right here. It ain't too shabby. No blocks. We have to block next turn to survive. There we go. Thief of Sanity was exactly what we wanted. No attacks past the turn. We have to block one of them and keep Thief of Sanity alive. And they cannot have an, a fourth Nicol Bolas. How many have they had now? Oh, just two. Okay. Oh, it has haste. Dang it. I forgot about that one. If, if we hit a removal spell with Mirari Conjecture, we can kill two things. We have to be able to draw a card. Wow. Oh my goodness. Good game. The Command the Dread Horde for the Nissa. And not finding any removal spell. Anything for forever. Wow, that was good. Good job, opponent. Good job, good job. Alright, up against Frog. Ribbit. Bring it on, Froggy. And. Tyrant Scorn into Hostage Taker can be good enough. This is weird without any green mana. It's keepable, though. So we're going to keep it. Uh, no green mana for Lanoir. A little bit awkward. That could be a decent turn three play, though, if we find green mana here. Lanoir. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Alrighty. All right, well, Tyrant Scorn kill you tight cell freebooter hits nothing that might be decent though for our hostage taker man not having green mana this is so awkward so so awkward well water grave tap pass the turn Playcrafter, interesting, makes us discard a card. 
I mean, we, we have these Lana URLs to discard, so that's fine. It's like smashed a bug on here. All right, um, we're not going to show off the Overgrown Tomb yet. Let's just Hostage Taker. Oh, this could be bad. We might be falling into a trap here. If they have another Playcrafter, they get a double Playcrafter here. Discard two. That could be bad. Ravenous Tubes. Yeah, so they basically got that. Uh, which we're okay with stuff going to the graveyard. Because of Moldrotha. Discard Drowned Catacombs. Alright, pay two life. Lanawar. And we're going to probably Veras' Contempt. But pass the turn. Uh, they know that we have six mana with this mold with uh, Lanawar, so they probably need to kill it. Leyline Prowler, fine. All right, contempt you and Moldrotha. Let's see if we have another land. We like land right now. I guess we can play it from the graveyard, so that's fine too. Moldrotha. Cast a land. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have green mana. If we if we had green mana in the graveyard, we could have played the Lanawar as well. Oh! Curse you. Take action. Grab a forest. Absolutely forest. Uh, so we can draw with Raska next turn. Finds a land, okay. Another... Okay, there we go. Eldest Reborn. If we hit land, we can play both. By destroying a land. I, I We need to draw some cards. Eldest Reborn is not quite good enough. It's good, but I'm going to be a, a little bit risky here. Why is so many people texting me and stuff today? What's up with this? All right, pass the turn. If they go all out towards Veraska, we can kill something with Veraska's Contempt after blocking with Llanowar. Fine Broker is annoying. Get back their Ravenous Chupacabra. It's a permanent, right? Yeah. The Freebooter actually would have been really good against us right here. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do we get rid of Fine Broker or the Chupacabra? Let's get rid of Fine Broker. Okay, two damage at Veraska. Eldest Reborn will come down. Next turn. Ruska is not bad. Ruska could is a little interesting, actually. Uh, let's just go Eldest Reborn, though. It's rid of Lanawar. Do we want to kill something here instead? They probably swing everything at Veraska, which could be pretty good for us. We have Mildrotha in the graveyard, right? Let's just draw a card. Alright, Breeding Pool tapped. Pass the turn. We, get, we gotta gain some life. Mildrotha's coming back in a couple turns. Yep, they kill Veraska. That's fine. Other Veraska is pretty good as well. Okay, they discard a land. All right, Veraska. Druid. Take down Veraska. Pass the turn. Dude, Eldest Reborn for Muldrotha is so beautiful because then you have all of the mana to do stuff with.
All right, let's kill here. Let's do it that way. Chupacabra in the graveyard might be more annoying than Branch Walker, but this will work. All right, so we want, no, our graveyard. Oldrotha. And now we have a full hand, basically. So let's cast an enchantment for... Yeah, let's, let's go for Eldest Reborn. It's just so good. Um, let's cast a land. Let's go with Drown Cat Combs. Cast a creature. We'll grab that Paradise Druid back again. And pass the turn. Yeah, there we go. Whoo! Oh, that's so, so pretty. <laughs> that was good. All right, there you guys have it with Moldrotha the Gravetide. And I feel like we didn't see a lot of our deck um, throughout those ones. Like, I would love to have found a Vrasa Relic Seeker. But overall, I think this deck is very solid. It's a really fun way to play. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, a little bit awkward that we didn't find green mana when that's like, we have more green than just about anything else in the deck. But, I mean... That's the cool thing about magic. Anything can happen. And we still won with that one. And I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye.